So Windows 365 or Azure Virtual Desktop? That's the question everyone is asking. How do you choose between the two Microsoft technologies? Windows 365 is based on Azure Virtual Desktop, but they are completely different services. In this video, I'll go through a few scenarios and help determine when Windows 365 is the best option and when Azure Virtual Desktop is the technology that should be used. I'm Vadim Vladimirsky, the CEO of Nerdio. And if you are an MSP or an IT professional who's interested in desktop virtualization, then this video is for you. First thing to keep in mind is that Windows 365 is not a replacement for Azure Virtual Desktop. It is a service that was designed to expand the virtual desktop market by introducing new use cases where Azure Virtual Desktop was not necessarily appropriate. So what you would expect to see is that there are some use cases that are better with Windows 365 and others where Azure Virtual Desktop is the right approach. As a matter of fact, many customers will have deployments of Windows 365 and AVD running happily side by side in the same IT environment. Here are some examples when Windows 365 is the right choice for you. If you're a small organization with, let's say, less than 10 desktops, and you have no current Azure footprint and are not planning to build one, then Windows 365 Business is the right choice for you. It is easy to configure and really has no technical prerequisites in order to start using this technology. Also, if you're a large organization that does not have an extensive expertise in desktop virtualization, but you are already using Microsoft Endpoint Manager or Intune to manage your physical devices, then Windows 365 X, uh, Enterprise is an excellent choice to simply extend your estate of Windows devices and manage them in the exact same way. Finally, if you have designers, developers, or engineers who need large machines to connect to remotely, then Windows 365 cloud PCs of the larger sizes with lots of CPU, RAM, and the upcoming GPU capabilities are the perfect choice for you. They're easy to set up and very easy for the user themselves to manage, install their own software, and apply updates as they come up. On the other hand, there are some situations where Azure Virtual Desktop is the right approach for your use case. For example, if instead of delivering an entire published desktop, all you need to do is provide users with a published remote app instead of a full desktop experience, then AVD is really the way to go because there is no way to publish applications in Windows 365. If you're already using Azure Virtual Desktop and require a lot of flexibility and control over your environment, then Azure Virtual Desktop is your choice to continue using and expanding. That's because with Azure Virtual Desktop, you have a lot more flexibility and you can really configure it to meet any requirements that Windows 365 can meet. If the number of desktops that users need varies greatly throughout the month, then Azure Virtual Desktop is probably going to be a more cost-effective approach than Windows 365. The reason for that is because with Azure Virtual Desktop, the cost of infrastructure depends on how many users are logging in at any given time, and you can scale your infrastructure up and down on a minute-by-minute, hour-by-hour basis to just accommodate the demand from the users who need the system at any given time. By contrast, with Windows 365, each license is a monthly assignment, and if your user requirements change drastically within the month, then you may find it more cost-effective to leverage Azure Virtual Desktop for that use case. Finally, if cost is the primary factor in your decision-making process, then Azure Virtual Desktop is a good option for you. Not only can you save up to 58% when leveraging the multi-session capability of Windows 10 in AVD, 
but with AVD you're also paying for the amount of Azure infrastructure necessary for the total number of concurrent users leveraging the system. With Windows 365 you're paying for a license for all users who are ever connecting to the system even if they're not in it at the same time. With most environments having user concurrency be less than the total number of users, there could be significant savings with Azure Virtual Desktop in those cases. As you can see, there isn't one solution that fits every situation. Each use case has the best technology to use, and in many cases you will have one environment, one virtual desktop deployment that's using both Windows 365 for some use cases, for some types of users, and Azure Virtual Desktop for others. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you agree.